share on Pinterest it's no surprise that push-ups aren't everyone's favorite exercise. Even celebrity trainer Jillian Michaels admits that they're challenging. To help get past the push-up scaries, we developed this push-up challenge with Michaels, creator of the My Fitness app by Jillian Michaels, and Rachel McPherson, an ACE certified personal trainer. It's a 30-day program to increase muscle strength in your upper body and abdominals. The goal of the program is to gradually go from doing basic or modified push-ups to full and improved push-ups within 30 days. Read on to learn more about the benefits of the push-up challenge, how to get started, tips, and the variations to keep it interesting. Push-up challenge schedule day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 day 5 scapular wall push-ups 8 12 reps, 2 to 3 sets basic wall push-ups 8 12 reps, 2 to 3 sets basic wall push-ups 8 12 reps, 2 to 3 sets incline push-ups 8 12 reps, 2 sets incline push-ups 8 12 reps. 2 sets day 6 day 7 day 8 day 9 day 10 rest rest scapular push ups on the floor 8 12 reps 2 to 3 sets scapular push ups on the floor 8 12 reps 2 to 3 sets basic floor push ups 8 12 reps 1 set day 11 day 12 day 13 day 14 day 15 basic floor push ups as many reps as you can basic floor push ups 8 12 reps 1 to 2 sets rest rest scapular wall push ups incline push ups basic floor push ups 8 12 reps each 1 to 2 sets each day 16 day 17 day 18 day 19 day 20 basic floor push ups for 6 reps 1 to 4 sets record sets and reps this week basic floor push ups for 6 reps 1 to 4 sets basic floor push ups for 6 reps 1 to 4 sets basic floor push ups for 6 reps 1 to 4 sets rest day 21 day 22 day 23 day 24 day 25 rest triceps push ups 8 12 reps 1 set diamond incline push ups 8 12 reps 1 set basic floor push ups triceps push ups diamond incline push ups 8 12 reps each 1 to 2 sets each basic floor push ups triceps push ups diamond incline push ups 1 set each as many reps as you can do day 26 day 27 day 28 day 29 day 30 time test as many push ups of your choice for 3 to 5 minutes triceps push ups 8 12 reps 1 set diamond incline push ups 8 12 reps 1 set rest basic floor push ups triceps push ups diamond incline push ups 1 set each as many reps as you can do record results to see your progress getting it done right a few things to keep in mind both arms and feet should be hip width apart line up your thumbs at armpit level not in front or behind your armpits. Keep your head and neck in line with your spine. Keep the core engaged to protect the spine. Keep your elbows slightly tucked in instead of flared out too wide. Stay hydrated during all of your workouts. If you can no longer maintain proper form, stop the exercise. Scapular wall push-ups start by standing facing a wall about one to one and a half feet away from it. Place your hands on the wall at shoulder height and shoulder width apart, with fingers turned slightly outward. Without bending your elbows, pinch your shoulder blades together as you bring your chest toward the wall. Don't dip your hips or tuck in your chin. Keep a straight line from head to toe, with your core tight. Push back to the starting position. This exercise is a small movement with a short range of motion, only pinching your shoulder blades together and pulling them back apart. Basic wall push-ups start standing facing the wall, about one to one and a half feet away from it. At shoulder height, reach out and place your hands on the wall, shoulder width apart, with fingers turned slightly outward. Bring your chest toward the wall by slowly bending your elbows. Keep your back and hips straight without dipping, and keep your core engaged. Breathe in while you lower. Slowly return to the starting position, breathing out. Basic incline push-ups start by kneeling facing a workout bench, or stand facing a countertop or couch, about one to one and a half feet away from it. Reach out and place your hands on the edge of the bench or counter, with fingers turned slightly outward. Your hands should be in line with your shoulders. Extend one leg and then the other behind you, 
with arms extended and your body in a straight line. Bring your chest toward the bench or counter by slowly bending your elbows, breathing in. Keep your back and hips straight without dipping, and keep your core engaged. Slowly return to the starting position, breathing out. Scapular push-ups on the floor This version of scapular push-ups also asks for a relatively small movement and range of motion, only pinching your shoulder blades together and apart. Resisting gravity to keep your form is what takes the strength building up from scapular wall push-ups. Start by kneeling on the ground. At shoulder height, reach out and place your hands on the floor, shoulder width apart with fingers turned slightly outward. Extend your legs one at a time behind you, with toes on the ground and your body in a straight line, core engaged, in plank position. Without bending your elbows, pinch your shoulder blades together as you bring your chest toward the wall. Don't dip your hips or tuck in your chin. Keep a straight line from head to toe, with your core tight. Push back to the starting position. Kneeling and standard push-ups This is the basic bread and butter push-up, whether you're performing it on your knees or toes, start by kneeling on the ground. Place your hands on the floor, shoulder whipped apart, with fingers turned slightly outward. Bring your chest toward the floor by slowly bending your elbows, breathing in. Engage your core, and keep your back and hips straight without dipping. Stop the range of motion when your shoulders are at the same height as your elbows. Slowly return to the starting position, breathing out. For a full push-up, extend your legs behind you with your toes on the ground. Your body should be in plank position, in a straight line, with your core engaged. Trainer tip if a modified push-up on your knees is too difficult, take the challenge to the wall. In addition to being more comfortable, McPherson explains that wall push-ups help take the pressure off the joint since you're not lowering your body up and down from the ground. Push-up variations help the muscles gradually build strength, ensuring that a full range of motion is possible. Triceps push-ups start by kneeling on the ground. At shoulder height, reach out and place your hands on the floor. Armpit width apart, with fingers turned slightly outward. Hands are placed slightly closer together than with basic push-ups. Extend your legs one at a time behind you, with toes on the ground and your body aligned in plank position. Bring your chest toward the floor by slowly bending your elbows back against the side of your body, breathing in. Keep your head, back, and hips aligned, without dipping and keep your core engaged. Stop the range of motion when your shoulders are at the same height as your elbows, with elbows against your rib cage. Slowly return to the starting position, breathing out. Diamond incline push ups start kneeling facing a workout bench, or stand facing a countertop or couch, about one to one and a half feet away from it. At shoulder height, reach out and place your hands on the edge, with index fingers and thumbs touching each other in a diamond shape. Extend one leg and then the other behind you, hip width apart, with arms extended and your body in a straight line. Bring your chest toward the bench or counter by slowly bending your elbows out, breathing in. Keep your back and hips straight without dipping and keep your core engaged. Slowly return to the starting position, breathing out. To make this exercise easier, separate your hands by a couple of inches. Why push-ups are so good burn calories Push-ups are an effective way to burn calories since they require lots of energy to perform, Michaels says. Your body may even continue to burn calories after your workout has finished. Practice coordination as an additional benefit. Push-ups are considered a functional exercise. They train your body to perform the way it needs to. In everyday life, with most multiple muscle groups working synergistically to move your body through its daily rigors, said Michaels.
Strengthen many muscles at once push-ups are such a fantastic exercise because they work many different muscle groups simultaneously, said Michaels. This includes a large focus on the upper body muscles, such as the pectorals, triceps, deltoids, biceps, and the core. They also work the glutes and leg muscles, which stabilize the body during the workout. The takeaway push-ups are a great exercise for full body strengthening. While not everyone's favorite, they burn lots of calories and help sculpt muscles. You can do them pretty much anywhere, without any equipment. Just be sure to follow the safety tips, which include stopping when you lose proper form. As always, consult with a doctor before beginning any health program.